Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Come on, let us just stand the Lord. Father, we thank you. We praise you and glorify you. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let's go to 1 Kings 18, the same scripture. Every week I would love to listen to us until further notice. 1 Kings chapter number 18 from verse 41. In this church, we read the scripture until the was memorized. Just in case we ever write an exam at December. <laughs> Praise the Lord. It reads as follows, Moho. 1 Kings chapter 18 from 41. And Elijah said to Ahab, go eat and drink for there is the sound of a heavy rain. So Ahab went off to eat and drink, but Elijah climbed the top of Camel, bent down to the ground and put his face between his knees. We've explained that already. This is more like a traveling prayer. He said, go and look towards the sea, he told his servant. And he went up and looked. There is nothing there. He said seven times. Elijah said, go back. The seventh time he's the servant reported, a cloud as small as a man's hand is rising from the sea. So Elijah said, go and tell Ahab, hitch up your chariot, go down before the rain stops you. We thank you, Lord, for this in Jesus' name. Amen. Just greet your neighbor. Come on, God bless Barcelona Lofats. And ask, tell them never to push up the, the, the spiritual umbrella. Hallelujah. Come on, thank the Lord. Good morning. Uh, it's obviously sharp, really. Uh, Especially when. <laughs> Today, who's going to look at the person behind you more than anyone else? Uh, we just want to thank the Lord for another day. You know, what is in the Yai Fail of religion? And there are one that Timothy Murida or a keeper who fishes Moral in Temo today. So, somebody was buried yesterday and they had an appointment there tomorrow. So being alive doesn't come cheap. I promise it doesn't come cheap. Heaven has to hustle for you just to make it. And we thank the Lord. Amen. Thank you. Let us continue uh, with our proclaiming your breakthrough, then bringing it forth. For those of you who are, who are hearing it for the first time, this is what it means. Um, from the scripture we've just read, um, we see where Elijah had pronounced to Ahab that there shall be rain. Then after the pronunciation, he spoke to Ahab directly to say, there will be rain. But up to that point, there was no rain. Until Elijah started to pray and travail in prayer, and he prayed so much, keeps, kept sending a servant to go check the clouds. And six times there was nothing. But he never stopped. He continued to pray. And the seventh time around, he finally got the answer. So I want us today to talk about something that I had subentitled uh, Silent Prayer. But then, let me say this one thing, that there is a strong connection between our ways and our actions, our ways, our actions, and our behavior. Yesterday, I was sitting there after Ntsekili Pizili Semunaka, I watched uh, what was that program? The Hupolan 
Well, it's a blind date kind of a thing. Boy, it's even a little bit of a single and mingle. Hey, what's up? I'm going to go to the movie. I'm going to go to the movie. You can't want to know she was Daniel in the lion's den. <laughs> so I happened to see that whilst I was busy there. And uh, there was this gentleman, very quiet. The, the most quiet guy ever. Or long song. Or long song. That lady says to, to him, uh, I'll you out in at long song. Now, why am I reminded of him? I'm saying to you, words, thoughts, and behavior go together. When you see a person or so, there is nothing they can talk more than that point. You are this because of the words. You are this because of, 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 of your confessions, your beliefs, and everything. At the end of each day, we can never deny the fact that we become direct products of our ways and our thoughts. I'm, I'm not the kind of person who... I'm not an extrovert. Contrary to most people's beliefs, I'm a very introvert. Off the stage, I'm the most boring person ever. Do the model which I say and fellowship silently for three hours, not saying anything. But I can tell you right now that in the realm of the spirit, I'm the loudest person ever. In the realm of the spirit, my voice is heard on high. Consciously so. I make so much noise in the realm of the spirit. Even though when I pray, and I'm the kind of person I could pray right there, Urubeti, you won't even hear me pray. I'm that silent in prayer, but loud in the realm of the spirit. So, I believe that uh, there is a strong connection between our ways, our actions, and our behavior. And that is why the week. Because otherwise, I have said last week and I'll say it again today, that one and a half hours of, of preaching here is way too little compared to the many hours you spend outside of church. When you go to church to, 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 to work and they pull you down, some of you are pulled down by your own families, your closest friends, everybody else doesn't believe in you except me, of course. Not potentially because I was once exactly where you at even lower than that. I've said to people at church, when I came to the Lord, I had nothing to lose. You know, when you have nothing to lose, really. I had nothing to lose, like literally. I saw everything the Lord doing in my life was more like an addition. And today, I might not be where I, I had wished to be. But really, I have seen the Lord do something. And this he has done through my visiting the house of the Lord. Standing, hearing trying to figure out some of the verses. Back then, or now when you got saved, there was only King James Version. We, we let us celebrate the NIV. I don't know if you remember that. When the NIV came, it yet trend the serious. We used to read, well, thou shalt not steal. If you sayest in thine heart and believest. <laughs> so we, we would try to figure out all that. But then we grew up because there was that thirst, that earnest desire to become somebody in this life. Amen. So that is why we want to give a confession every week because we have believed this one thing. In the natural realm, in the spiritual realm, we've always believed that, you know what, some people for the fear of making mistakes or saying things they would regret, they'd rather keep quiet. But then we've said as well, no, words that are unsaid will die unborn. 
And that is why if you have nothing to say, go back to the confession. Rather read it throughout the whole week. Put it up somewhere where you'll wake up in the morning and see it first. At least that's something you can actually chew on for the whole day because in your fear of saying things, maybe fearing to implicate yourself, you keep quiet and words that are unsaid will die unborn. Say nothing, nothing is going to be there. Say something, something will be there. But the something you say must be the something you've desired. I want to not like speaking things and seeing them happen and that's exactly what you wanted. Amen. One person says, uh, said, uh, a, sober, a, sober, a sober man's, a drunk man's words are a sober man's thoughts. Or when somebody is under the influence of whatever they've taken, every word they say, they mean it. But those are the words they were afraid to say when they were sober. So, have that kind of a desire in you. Yahori, you would rather be considered a drunk man in the realm of the spirit. People might surely think you are drunk of church, drunk of religion, anything else, but as long as you know that what you say is what you want to say. You're not, you, you, may, you may be the most irre irrelevant person ever in your, in, your, in your community, in your family, in your class, wherever you are, but what you say is what you want to see happen. And what you want to see happen is what is aligned. It is aligned to the word of the living God. Begin to say that. And that is why, for some of you sitting here, I would say to you, rather accompany the news because for now, I'm not discouraging like the news. I'm not trying to discuss the news. What's the point of the news? I'm not trying to discuss the news. I'm not trying to discuss the news. I'm not trying to discuss the news. No, we're cleaning up. We're promising we'll do everything proper. Clean up the ganga for you. Discouraging. Now I have a battle, the inner, an inner battle, every time I watch what other people say, what I know doesn't work. You have an inner battle. It affects my prayer life. If you are going to pray effectively, learn to not consume what pulls you down. Do not, never be a consumer. There are anything that steals your faith or anything that puts you in the disadvantaged class. Refuse to do that. Rather, never know. How about the weather? Weather what I want to do. In any case, the weather is too sick and next. I don't want to go to the valley. My mom used to say more now, hey, man, I mean, an 80 year plus, whatever weather, Uyakukai. What if I do to her body? Have you ever seen an 87 year old Lucy Montung worried about in the whole week? When it's hot and she doesn't go anywhere else, even when it's not, it's not raining. Now, we want ourselves in a space. We must have that desire. Want yourself in a space, say godly at all times. Want yourself in a space where God is speaking to you. Want yourself in a space that you are getting encouraged all the way. Are you okay with that? Now, there is something I call a silent prayer. This is my own opinion of the definition. A. Give my own opinion for the sake of what I'm teaching you. All right? This is not absolute. Give my own opinion. How can we work a silent prayer? What am I talking about? A silent prayer life is that kind of a life where all your prayers revolve around yourself and the same things that cannot happen around you. And you never find yourself travailing or hustling for kingdom issues. It will help you after the seminar today. How you work a silent prayer in Joko? My definition is a silent prayer. A silent prayer life or a silent prayer is that kind of life where all your prayers revolve around yourself. God bless me, bless my husband, bless my children, and bless no more. You get a point? How many of you have been in a serious, serious, with a back against the wall? And you attended the intercession meetings, and there was a topic there that actually was so relevant to you, and we 
prayed for that. Or they prayed for that and God answered the next person instead of you. And you walked away discouraged after last week after the rappella. You was about for three months, and then you my, my, my creditors were right, you know, on my case, and I got a job, and you prayed. But the whole idea of praying when you are praying for yourself to get the job. And your prayer, Mdima Ainga, then God used the prayer for kingdom purposes. Then it gets it discouraged you. It happens all the time. It, 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 I mean, it happens all the time. You're standing there with somebody, you're both joining hands, you're praying, and you know that the, what you're praying for affects me. And God decides to take the same prayer. Now, instead of you being discouraged, you need to realize what I, what, what I call a silent prayer is what you did. Silent prayer is, Lord, it revolves around me only. But then God, because you are in the kingdom, I'll show it to you today. You are in the kingdom. And when you are in the kingdom, Tabang, kingdom priority is important. To prioritize the kingdom more than anything else. I learned this one thing, you know, about the, the, the ends last week when I was reading through something. But when they collect grass, they collect grass, they put it in their holes. They collect seed. They know the difference between seed and grass. When they collect a seed and they get it into the hole there, they break it because somehow they don't want to have mercy again that the seed should grow in the hole. Wow. Oh, kingdom issues. And the king, the queen, keeps just giving, laying eggs for kingdom, for kingdom, for kingdom. And everyone who's born there just become a kingdom servant, kingdom servant, kingdom servant. And the Lord said, go to the ants, to the ants you sluggard and consider their ways. Just imagine. Creatures so telling you, you could actually finish their kingdom just like that. Gone. They have more wisdom than some of us. So, a silent prayer is that kind of life where all your prayers revolve around yourself and the same things that cannot happen. And the more they don't happen, the more stubborn you become. And now because Christianity has attuned us, well, it's attuned us into this frequency, already, if it's not happening, there's nothing wrong with me. There's, not, there's something wrong with the devils. Satan unamanga is against the girl. If you're, I don't care how much you scream. If you're operating a wrong, wrong principle, a wrong rule, it's got nothing to do with the devil. It's like putting your car in reverse and facing up front and say, uh, uh, pressing the accelerator. Where is it going to go? Whether you rebuke the devil or not, you are in reverse. Are you aware of that? So a lot of times we have been, we have been programmed. But when we pray and travail and nothing happens, we must say, now city Satan unamang. Now konamangi sends you warfare. Ah! Warfare, warfare, warfare. And now, why don't you sit down and ask yourself, Holy Spirit, I've been praying for this. The Holy Spirit will speak. The, the problem is Christians never even consult the Holy Spirit. They consult the pastor and everyone else. And that is why you've been misled so many times by men. And I said to you, religion is the most poisonous thing ever. A pastor who's never, a man who struggled with great what? For money king, for money king. Grade 8. Yeah. A man who struggled with grade, grade 8 until Bamukupa at West Kolo. That man will start a ministry. And his principal would be a member in the church. The man will principal jump and he'll say how high. That's religion for you. So religion tells you. But the Holy Spirit, who is the one who's supposed to be the one teaching you. Jesus said, when he, the spirit of truth has come, he will lead you and reveal all the truth to you. But look at that. Now, Christians never, for you, if I, become a, if I ever become an authority over your life, I can assure you, you'll end, you'll end in hell. The day I become that authority in your life, you're going to hell, bro. 
It's good that I am your pastor, but I've said to this congregation, I, I, I love nature. You know, there are cows, there are goats that have a bell around their, their neck. Have you noticed that? Consider me as just that one. I'm part of the flock. Good fellow, now to the belly here, you are going to run Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Fail. That's all that there is to eat. But now all the cows look up to the master for direction for food. When, the, when, when trouble strikes, all the cows, all every, the goats and everything, they rely on the shepherd. So we need to hear the voice of the shepherd and get attuned to the voice of the shepherd. So every believer must actually begin to pray, Lord, re re revive my soul that I may hear your voice. Then they must spend time, you must sit there and say, Lord, what, what, why is this not happening? And some of the sermons will actually help you to hear what the Spirit says. That's simple as that. But it's not like a suta. 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 You'll be a better Christian. You'll be far by now. Do you know why you get distraught when men of God make wrong things? You've put them in the place of God. But how come you have a lot of people who are not going to be able to When a man with a better offer comes and says, Mamu, tuwana, I love Khomeo Yabel, he'll sell it for a good price. No one has too much value for God. Our value is in Christ. So we are, our prayer lives will always be affected by the kind of church we go to. When a person prays, you can tell the type of church they go to. How mamela? And that's why God cannot answer you. Because there are no departments that are for each church. It's kingdom issues. Therefore, if you're going to travail and see yourself go and get, come out of the silent prayer mode into the travailing prayer mode and pray and keep watching the rain, Rain that's going to affect the whole area where you're at. That's exactly where you're going to have your own field watered up. I'm talking from what I know. When you need a job, stop, start praying for people you know who need jobs. Same with them. Begin to bless people. Come and say it. Come again. Wholeheartedly against your, your, your deepest desire until your thoughts, it is about it. You are going to pray against them. You are going to attune them to the word of the living God. And you begin to see God will bless, bless, bless people. And right at the end of the queue, He's going to bless you because you have been ushering others into the kingdom. So your deepest travails, deepest desires should be kingdom focused. When the kingdom is established like a bed, you will find your spot to nest in it. When the kingdom of God is established, you will find a nest. to Bring your own nest and pitch there. And your children and their children's children. Your, the whole generation of how? They will survive on your kingdom prayers tab. Well, not, um, uh, so. not, not your, your personal prayers. And that is why we become prosperous, we become rich, we become everything, but our children reject the kingdom because we never prayed for the kingdom. We do everything else. And our children never see value in it because when they go in the realm of the spirit, your, your prosperity as an individual has value. But the prosperity of the kingdom has value. Your health as an individual, I add value to the kingdom. But the health of kingdom subjects adds value to the kingdom. 
The Bible says, he who waters the others shall in return be watered. I will give a testimony, two testimonies. Study this one. This one I found in Genesis chapter 1, verse 1. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Because God in the same testimony. Genesis, I saw I changed the knowledge. I saw that I changed the testimony. Impossible to think in a guy. Keep your camera, Pila, Korea, and Hat, one on Kore, Kihono, like Eva Salani, Katulik, Kore, Kutil. But listen to this, they will help you a lot. First, let me read a scripture Matthew 13, verse 31 to 32. Matthew 13, 31 to 32. He told them another parable. The parable went like this. The kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed, which is almost the size of a grain of sugar, if not smaller than the grain of sugar. If it falls to the ground, you, have to, you might have to look for it. If it falls onto your dining room carpet, you may not find it. But it falls out of your hand into the field. You will not find it, but you'll see the tree one day. Fine. That, that will help you. The kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed which a man took and planted in this field. Though it is the smallest of all your seeds, yet when it grows, it is the largest of garden plants and becomes a tree so that the birds of the air come and perch in its branches. Are you okay with that? Now, I want to say this to you. Now, the mustard seed or the seed, seed unplanted, can be victimized by a bird. Now, when you're going to behave like a bird, the seed the Lord gives you in the form of prayer and travail for the kingdom. Some of you have devoured because, yes, the truth is, you do pray. But what you have is a master seed, some kingdom potential. Something the Lord wants to grow into a kingdom. But then because you have a, a, a bad mentality, birds will devour it if it's not protected. And that is why some of you have actually divided all the prayers on yourself and there's still no kingdom. Are you okay with that? When Mdimu gives you prayer, he gives you an issue to pray for. Mdimu shows you, hey, pray for jobs. Pray for his But be a farmer. Take it. Put it in the ground. Protect it. Mommy, ladies, it grows. You and the other birds will come and nest in the tree. When you see a tree everywhere, There's a, there was a, a farmer who planted it. I promise you. You see a tree. Everywhere you see a tree, somebody either consciously or unconsciously planted that seed. Some seeds just fell off. Some seeds were thrown out of a running text. That tree was planted by somebody, consciously or unconsciously. Now, plant your prayer seeds consciously. From tonight, stop being like a bird. Be a farmer. Pray for the kingdom of God. Pray for the needs you know that the kingdom. Let God bring individuals in your face every time you pray. But he said, I was so long with the house. How sweet is Mudim Kerapella, I was so long with the house. The tapel of Zaka Mudim, Aki Mudim Mufa, every time I talk about Furis, Banaba Hai, ing, 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 ing. Now you are being a farmer. But Mudim, oh, hey, Naka to Puakibana, Mudim Limunaka, Kitsuni Fella, Haila Musadi and Amudim, Akina, and Rabila Waloya, low lawyer, and everything. Now you are a bed. So are you going to be a bird or a farmer? May I see the hands of the birds? Oh, sorry, the farmers. See that? Now, by silent prayer, 
We mean a person whose prayers cannot even break beyond their own skin. Who everything is here. It's me, myself, and I. That day will never come. God does not have that day in his calendar. But Mudimu Shohonolo Fatsa Kereki Yahao. Now you are talking kingdom issues. Now let me let me give you uh, quickly a testimony about, about our church. The church could me I told the story I now, you know it. I'll tell the story so I look quickly, tell the story someone I and tie them up to what I'm trying to say. How we, we, we were still we were still very few. We were we were good last room go. Vela King, then king. Put a shark, put a shark. We were got last room go put a shark. No, never confidence and devil. When we, we st- when, went to the UBC, went to, wanted to have a church site, it used to be our church. When we began to do the process, we realized this, no? we start well. Everybody, once they come to the Lord, they start well. They start losing focus when they have arrived at the tree. Now they want to have the biggest nest on the tree. They don't want to be a bird anymore. They, want be, they become a bird of prey. They want to become like the eagle or the other birds. Go have a spread wings. All the other birds must run away. Are you okay with that? Now I went there and I was given a lot of, uh, you know, there was just in the and I said, Fiona, so, no, you must come here. Actually, they ended up calling me the one man committee. They won't put Can't you win a lesson to the one committee? Because I came there alone. So they ended up joking, calling me uh, uh, the man without a committee. But they gave me a list of the requirements to say, no, your church needs to, you know, we don't sell sites, we, give, we do 99 year lease, everything else. And then, uh, you know, you must have 60,000 runs in the account to prove that you can actually kickstart the program, all that. And uh, we went to meetings after me. It was like a, com- a committee in a housing or something like that. I don't even know what they were called back then. But then I went to have several meetings, several meetings until the processes were done, applications and everything else. And they said to me, the next meeting you are going to have to bring uh, Proof of, uh, of your bank uh, balance, 60,000 rands. I went to God in prayer. Now, come on, ladies. When life pressurizes you, you know where to go. When it treats you well, you forget where to go. Could we treat God like the rich uncle? When you're pressurized, when your health is not good. When there's no peace in your family, you know where to go. When there's peace, the rich uncle can just wait a moment. I'm enjoying the breakthrough. This is why we miss it. And that is why we get the first miracle right. Every new convert, every new convert, they get the first miracle right. And that is why if you watch in every church, it's like God blesses the newcomers and the oldcomers are there like the elderly brother, disgusted. The more you walk with God, the more familiarity sets in, the more your prayer life changes, the more now you learn about the things that never worked. And you want to make them work now. When you came to God for the first time and you were crying for a job, you knew nothing about prosperity. All you did was That's all you knew. Then God gives a job. Then you learn about prosperity. Then now you're going to treat God like God is just an additional. Now you know the laws of prosperity. And in every church that emphasizes prosperity, there's only one prosperous person. Get a priest. The priest. The pastor. Everyone else has prosperity. The more he prospers, everybody gets bankrupt. Okay, fine. Let's arrest the Gopil. Now, they, they said to me, you must bring the bank statements. I, I, I prayed and I said, Mudim, we need to have a church. And by the way, I told you how the Lord showed me that place. You know, I was, I was working in Ramadan. The Lord showed me exactly the church, the shape. Uh, you know, I shared it with others. 
before Mangalani Bating, before Shavuot Extension 5 Bating, the Lord showed me that spot where there's going to be a church there and everything else, including the shape of the thing. Wow, everything else. You know, you're starting off with the Lord. You're excited. Kichanewari. Mudimu begins to speak to you. Mudimu shows you possibilities. Mudimu shows you by December you'll be very far. Mudimu shows you by, by the next few months you'll be walking free from disease and everything else. There's going to be peace around you. Yeah, Mudimu shows you that business. I will prosper you somehow because uh, I am the God uh, the, 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 who heals all your he sicknesses. I am the God who prospers you. I'm the God who's there for you all the time. I'm the God who walks with you. All possibilities until you get used to the system. But if you approach the throne room of grace every time like a newcomer with, an, with a heart of desperation, then you learn, and then uh, if God could ask you something, or okay, fine. If I heal you, how is it going to benefit the kingdom? Look, I'm still God, whether you're sick or not. I was God when you were healthy. I am God while you are sick. I will be God still even if you die from the disease. If I heal you, how is it going to change, not you, but the kingdom? Because Christianity makes you the focus. Yet God is still focusing on the kingdom. Christianity makes us selfish. Religion makes us to believe we are God's only person. Now, some of you are living in total comfort. You've got everything you want. How is it changing the kingdom? How is it changing the kingdom? How is it changing the kingdom? No problem. You get my point? It doesn't change the kingdom in any way. Your, your own breakthrough doesn't change the kingdom in any way. But now, this is what we call grace. Say grace. Grace is when God reluctantly so in this context. When he reluctantly so gives it to you and hopes you will get the message. Then he puts the word on my lips because Sunday to come and ignite you. To say, yes, he did it this week. For the first time, there's enough food in your refrigerator. But there are people, others, and you, you, you can never like a rag. Okay, I don't kind of want to how we And this is why we miss the whole mark. He gives it to you, then he says, let me put a word on my seven slips. Would it Sunday ignite this, ignite this fire in them? Tell them I did it because I was going to tell you to tell them to do it right. So I became desperate, and I said, Mudimu, but you're going to be glorified. I could have said, those religious prayers, then you'll be glorified. You'll be known as God. I will tell of the goodness of the Lord. I will tell the next generation how faithful you were. That church will stand as a testimony. It was only 27. That was the first to be built in. So the first church here to show who was born. He granted it. I told you, when I was supposed to go to the meeting, you know, present at the bank balance at 60,000 runs, then they called me about your file, Lashley. They get up, but it was the greatest relief ever. I was just later, I'm not going to face those people again because, so, then the next, the next time they called me again, they said, we found the file. I went there and I said, same, same desperation, travailing, say travailing. Come on, say travailing. Say travailing. Yeah, same, I was travailing and same. I'm going, God. I don't know how. No, we never had anything. I, I never even had a statement. Sat 25 rand. When then I said, then uh, God raised somebody who was not part of the kingdom. Just like somebody who planted the sunflower around the key, the, 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 the freeway, I like the Felaka first area, is not part of yeah, 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 department. Yeah, we will like it more. Amen. 
image. The man when the Lord when when the chairman said, Mona, now Mr. Kotu, uh, according to our minutes here, you were supposed to bring the the the, the, the sixty thousand runs bank proof in the array. Is that so? Before I could answer, the Bible says, remember, I learned that day, be slow to speak. Quick to hear, be slow to speak. I kept quiet, not intentionally in this. We told him too little because I didn't know what to say. When you don't know what to say, say what? Nothing. Because you know what? Language, I say articulation. Travailing is language. You get the point? You not heard because you spoke. You could be heard because you <clears throat> Oh Lord. Mm. Mm. That's language. The Bible says in the Romans chapter number 8, verse 26, the Spirit himself prays for us with groanings that which words cannot utter. And he who searches the hearts knows what is the mind of the Spirit because the Spirit makes intercession for us with mm, groanings which words cannot utter. Therefore be slow to speak. I didn't know what to say. I kept quiet. A white man raised his hand. Our Mr. Chairman, with all due respect, if I remember well, before we lost his file, he gave us the statement. In front, I mean, during the people, during the people who were there in the last meeting, a man said something. That was never naturally true, but that was spiritually true. Because when you travail, the Lord knows as soon as you travail, your travail becomes a deposit of greater things to come. When we travail, the transactions in the realm of the spirit, the child is born, the boy is healed, the man rises up whilst he is still limping all the way to the hospital. A man with a plaster gets healed through travail. That man said everything city so when everybody who was in the last meeting was sitting there. Who knows very well? And nobody said, Chairman, I don't remember that. The chairman asked me, now you're in time to speak, and the Lord has opened the door. You enter his gates with thanksgiving in your heart. Enter his cause with praise. And they said, this is the day that the Lord has made. And I will rejoice and be glad. The chairman said, is that so, Mr. Kotukari? Yes, sir. He's right. They apologized. He said, so, so sorry for wasting your time. Stamped, 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 stamped. And they said, we wish you all the luck to build that church. Kill it there, mother. But, like I said, when we are desperate, we know how to move with God. As soon as the Lord rescues us, we freestyle. And that's why, Njoko, many believers' first miracle becomes their last miracle. I was on a morning. I told him, Miracle of Tala. Yokala Neokina. And that's why when 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 you come when you come to the Lord, come with thirst. Come with us, Lord, show me your glory. I've been praying, Mother Singana Masafana quit the Lakrim Dimu, show me your glory, show me your glory, Lord. Show me your glory. I haven't seen anything, but I've had the transformation. Lord, I will never let you go until you have blessed me. 
And the Lord says, what for? No, Mudimu, um, bless her, Baboni, Huru, Uteng. Mudimu, no. I've appeared to too many people when you are not even here. And I will still continue to appear in your absence of God. So don't come here with silent prayers. The second one testimony. Yeah, this very place where we are sitting here today. We're sitting up there. Those of you who were up there would remember uh, we ended up occupying every, every space. The auditorium, the, every space, including the kitchen. It was a mess. And one day I'm driving down the same road. I saw a sign in the Moiling Shell garage. There's a, there's a wheel, wheel and tire, something there. Sale. I called the man, a Jewish person, Mr. Raymond Lewis. said, I'm interested in that site. How did I do it? I had land. You know, if you can be a person of integrity, never make a vow to God. Let your no be no, let your yes be yes. But if you make a vow to God, honor it. If something how we eat, it's kaya it's a hand. Those of you who were here would remember minutes ago we said we don't even want sponsors. I keep up with our own because we want to have fifty thousand. I keep up with our because of the thing that. But I look at that. But so as a matter of fact. A uh, president of a country, family high, let's make it again. Gabi Gilly, the most corrupt person ever. Marikila Karatim, how say you see anything but Pilombak? Let's get it. Get a hala. Get a hala. We refused when people were working for Buplas con paint him on a bar. He comes with him with Barum Wally Letania and a fella, but Nali painting with him by in Samoli, Umole letter fella, but like some care again. When a Bab, the Ritual by the Lashela Kokai, have I lash? The Tatarito Baru. What kind of contract that is one? It's clean. People say Maram Ruti, but one of care. No. I don't want to be sleeping there one day and having telephone calls I cannot ignore. Don't go to smell. You call it okay, go at it. Amen. I can't do it like a limon. Or who left phone? Whatever. The phone, the phone, the logo guy. Big Sabahor and Nicky Rubet. said me that some kind integrity moments with him how if you don't do a thing let it not be done lord and that's why we have taken years and years developing brick by brick brick by brick mutwar no nga pala nje ncwadi nje utroe plan nyane ukuthi nezobane community projects kanjani bazofaka imali keri no church on its own the community so they, let this community build this church for the next generation and the community who will maintain the church and the next, so that we become like a Goshen. We become immune from the things that befall ordinary people. So that when there's challenges out there, God can look at us and say, now there, the plague must not reach. The lies and the frogs must never come into that territory. The boils must never touch a single one of them. I learned from the experience at the first church. For silent prayers are not my thing. If God can have a share in what he's saying, you will have it. He'll give it to you in abundance. But like a for a slice. And he'll say, what's that, king? Don't tell the others. 
Galofi, we cut it. Your trust of the cutter is less at the day. While people are struggling, the Lord will look after you. When men don't know what to do next, the Lord will open up a door for you. You will be. The Bible says, in this world, they will have a hundredfold return. Those that have left mother, father, or everything else for the sake of the kingdom. But it is with persecutions. No, who cares when they're persecuted and they're with the Lord? Persecuted but not annihilated. Down but not out. Ailing but not going to die from this sickness. Okay, more this disease will never kill me. I will never die from this sickness because I am of value in the kingdom. I matter in the kingdom of God. So I called the gentleman. Let me just check to the chase. I called the gentleman and he said, okay, if I know the land is 400,000, but I've got other lands. We met with him and it was me and Joyce. It was during the week. I think about Monday or so. We were excited. The land where the shell garage is only uh, that uh, tire and wheel something money. He wanted four hundred thousand. That's four hectares. And now no, that's yeah, four hundred four thousand square meters. Four thousand square meters. Now we are in a two thousand square meters. Wow, four thousand was a hundredfold return. Oh, I was crazy. Say, can you imagine I could do four thousand? I I came there. I couldn't wait many more like Sunday Sunday I think Nikki Nikki Matasata Sanyana. So we went there with Metroise. Why give us a Metroid? We went there with Smooch. Yeah, girl and I can sound the show me was We went there and the guy showed us that land and then he said 4,000 square meters. I said, how much? He said 400,000 rand. Did we have 400,000 rand? Never. The very first church took us seven years to build. Don't you have another bigger land? He said, follow me. We went to where the Sebedisano funeral, 10,000 square meters. And I said, man, how much this one? He said, this one, 500,000. It's getting better. But did I have 500,000 runs? No. But when you are a bed and you are nesting on a tree and the tree is producing fruit, you and your generation will never lack kingdom-mindedness. Then I said, Moya, now I'm getting bolder now. Can I get another one? He says, follow me. He comes here. He stops right there. He says, this here, you can choose any portion. I'll cut it for you for whatever price. Get out. How big is the land? He says, 23 hectares. 20, yeah, 23 hectares. Get it. What if I want all of it? He says to me, make me an offer. I said, 500,000. <laughs> okay, he said, I must make him an offer. I'm just here to show you, Kony, kingdom principles. For if you are going to raise Banabal to become great people, be a kingdom grandmother. It doesn't matter about the Chicagokai. Bagachiga Moshari, Bagachiga Tronco, how no Hatas by Chicagokai. Bagachiga somewhere. But in your absence, they will stand and be in their footsteps. Like a the travailing covenant woman, a man, a woman who has worked with God, a person who made his work with God worthwhile. Or what you get a hot hard? What you are villainous? You call the travel to call her last year, which you get a hot as a linger right. He sent me now, give me an offer. 
I said, 500,000. He loved me. Are, how? That one, 400,000. That one, 500. This is Kirman. You said I must give an offer. He said, no. How much do you want? He said, 600,000. Now, what I'm trying to say here, when you get into the process of demo, be prepared. Do not be excited at the first sign. Be prepared. Be, walk. Look, somebody will offer you what they want if you don't know what you want. Ask. And if there is nothing else, no problem. You can offer. You can take what's on the offer. But I asked until he said, no, no, this is, this is wrong. You can't ask, you can't say 600. This is 22,000, 23,000 square meters. 4,000 square meters, I wanted 4,000 runs, 400,000. 10,000, I wanted 500. Okay, give me 600. That, did it make any difference? To him, it did. Deal or no deal? I said deal. That is a deal. But then you know how I told you the story, how he put everything else. You must give me 200,000 rands in 30 days. Maybe in the Renal, 15, 20,000 rands in the bank. I said, no problem. Signed. Got it. 300,000 rands of 230 days. Two days before the 30 days, all we had was 50,000. I stood before the church. I raised 200,000. If it's not there, you cannot raise it. But the Lord. If you are looking for, it's not in sight. You don't walk by what you see. By what you know, we shall walk. yeah? How 200,000 rands is your mother like? Hayiyo, mama shong, asimoya, marumudimu waruna, wana de everything. And if it's for the kingdom, you know why you wait for 200,000 rands and it doesn't come? There's no way the kingdom is going to gain from it. I've never asked for money from Mudimu. All my life, I could pull it up and let it go to the Then I said to the man, we don't have 200,000 rands. We only have 50. He said, no, don't worry. The land is yours. Come to my office the next morning. Went there. Then he said, here's 50. He said, we'll put 18% 18, 18 interest and you'll pay the rates and taxes. I said, fine. To cut this long story short, the land went from 600 to 1.2 million. And I said, more, I could go add another year because now it's like 24 months. We paid him. Now, my ladies, we only realized when there was supposed to be a transfer. The man didn't know what happened. A Jewish guy. After we paid him his last cent, he said to me, we need to talk. There's no talking. There's no talking. I don't know, we need to talk. You robbed me. So he was serious. I only met Loria, I met Loria. Who told me to bring him? I don't care. Who paid for the check? I didn't know. I want to meet Loria. Who's serious? Who am I? Because I para look the part. Who be serious? If you're like Walo, we took your brother Obri. We went to the men's office. We sat there. Because okay, this is Obri for my church. Because this is our attorney. Karen, no, she's not going to say anything, but she's just going to be a out of her own like I am. You know what he did, the man? He took out the papers and said, sign here, sign here, sign here, sign here. That's what I'm going to do. Sign here. Gave us bye-bye, and the rest is still. What am I trying to say? Travailing for kingdom. Do you get the point? It's... When, when, you, when you approach the throne room of grace, what
What is it that you pray for? Yes, you pray for that. But what is it that's going to come out of it when finally the Lord is inside you? Samuel never spent time with his mother. She travailed because Penenia, Penenia, una mutorisa. She prayed and prayed. Anna prayed and prayed. But when the boy was born, as soon as he stopped sucking, she took her. Everything left her at the temple with an old man called Eli. And he became one of the greatest prophets. And he grew up one day and the Lord told him, as a boy, what I'm going to judge Eli's family. Kingdom prayer begets kingdom people and kingdom people begets kingdom trees. And the kingdom becomes like a tree where every seed. Now look at how many birds are here today. But now the challenge in Mohem, the challenge is every bird cares about itself. Typical of birds. Each one knows its nest with his own two eggs, gamola, and that's all. It's me, my nest, and that's all. Because birds don't multiply trees. They just stay in them. It takes a farmer to grow a tree. Are we going to have farmers in this place? And it's a simple thing. Let's go to Matthew chapter number 6 quickly. Verse number 9, Matthew 6, 9. This is when the disciples asked the Lord, teach us to pray because we saw John teaching his disciples to pray. He said, this then is how you should pray. Say, our Father who is in heaven, hallowed be your name. God is in heaven, we we'll respect your name. Your kingdom come. Your what? Now, somebody said, when they, where there is a kingdom, there will always be kingdom subjects. Therefore, I gave you the, the, the illustration near the cows. There's only one king. And from the king, he sent us a shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd. Where there's kingdom, there will be shepherds. And the shepherd says, Runa. The shepherd is Jesus. Now we are just those cows that have a tendency of straying away. Therefore, he puts a bell around our necks. That's how I choose to look at myself. You get the point? Now, Lord, your kingdom come. Let us do your will. Now, what is the will of God? So everybody who's going to pray must understand that. what is the will of God. Mudimu, I want to have one, two, three. What is the will? How is it going to change you? How do you expect me to keep my words when you can hardly keep your own words? Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth just like it is done in heaven. No, the kingdom brings heaven on earth. Could we could be right in the midst of a recession, right in the, in the, in the, in, in, living in a country, a junk state, and never look like junk. Because uh, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. The economy are heaven, the health are heaven, the, the peace are heaven, the flow are heaven, the, 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 the keeping together of the families are heaven, the, the, the working together, the marriages like you would do if there was marriage in heaven will happen right where we are. To give you just a small example, to be like Goshen in the midst of an Egypt. Let it be down on earth as it is in heaven. Then, give us today our daily bread. Are you aware? Kingdom come. Will be done. If the kingdom has come, we'll do your will. Where we do your will, there'll be bread. There's provision. That's jobs, that's health, that's everything. So instead of you wasting your time with him, you can't get a span. You can't for the fruit tabernacle. Satanabar unali ingwen. Over na surisidia mustati mulzonaka. Nak surisidia. I'm put in the ground. 
the ground, the other fruit tabernacle, the cheap like he had in a mulligan. Oh, pull on that Halilabo me, who made the wood actually like you know, some of us grew up in those days when our, our backyards were used for gardenings. They would actually be we playing around or will fit a moho home, then they slap you. But you're not changing. And I got bit as a slap for Khatai because there's not that much. But just wait. The sower knows what they have put into the ground. You've been praying and you know what you've put into the ground. Start putting a label on it there, but traveling. We protect. We're more who need blessings. More who need blessings. More who need blessings. More who need blessings. More who need And barricade it and say, I will never trample on the good. I'll never be careless about this prayers. I've planted enough in this, and I'm hoping the kingdom one day will realize. Or there were men and women who went to the freeway tabernacle, who hustled for the kingdom, who prayed for the king, who planted new seeds in this kingdom. Oh Lord, help your people. But if we pray silent prayers. That's why we pray. I said a silent prayer life is that kind of life where all your prayers revolve around yourself and around the same things that you cannot see happening. And you never find yourself traveling or hustling for kingdom issues. And if God has to ask you today, if I give you that house, how is the kingdom going to benefit? Hello. When, if you're going to walk with God, count your words. It will let your yes be yes and let your no be no. Rather, we hustle early because we want to hold you responsible. I've said so many times, Gary, you go there and say, Give me a house, I'll have a home cell. He'll give you a house, and the home cell will be on Tuesday and it will be raining. You can say, Saramiki, are you white? And I didn't know you are a child. We trace the no child. Don't expect too much from me. I'm just a bed. Hey. Now I'm just enjoying the glory of the, 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 the tree. Hey. I'm just enjoying the glory of the tree. I wonder that. So, you ask God for things. Be careful. He'll give you. And that may be the last thing he ever gives you. Or he may not give you because he knows your heart. Mam Morin, in my life I have owned over now, I think about what, 40 cars. We gave away... 10 cars, the choice. Not cars that were going to be towed from our yard. I'd go, in, I'd go to a church literally, Mahabi, and see this man maybe with a car that is struggling. I would come back home and I'd say, Mocho, I see, I've been to this church, let's give this car to that man. Budget, zero. We would give the car nonetheless. Pay it while he's driving it. He accumulated the tickets, he accumulated everything. At some point, we were paying like a, for how many cars? I think one, two, three, four, five cars at the same time. With budget, yeah, over 30,000 runs for those cars. Struggling to pay them, Taba. Struggling, insurance and everything else. Paying, 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 and that's it. Houses. We were staying with my mother. Joyce stayed. Joyce stayed with her mother-in-law, my mother, for 16 years under the same roof. Rika afforded upon their 600,000 rands. Their 60,000. Houses back then were 60,000. Installment was around 600 rands or so. 
I went and I met the man and I saw the man who had children. And the Lord said to me, you know what? Actually, after the Lord said to me, I'm, I'm just trying. The Lord said to me, where now leave your wife? Leave the up go here. Imagine we pay their house. Go there somebody. 60,000. Well, she was living with her mother in law. And we chose to live with her mother. At least we're not a shop. Let's help him to bring his children up. How no limu demon or lump pantry taken? Because what's over Agar, if that's okay, one shop a guy on our ones. I hope I should run. <laughs> but you get my point. You get my point. Kingdom mindedness. Churches. I was updating the list during the week. D19. We go. If we have surplus from TFT, we use it for the foundations. Then we say, Mobona, if you buy 10 bricks, we'll buy 10 bricks. To build the church. Once it's done, we shake hands with 10 and we never look back. Because the glory should go to the master. There's a tree planted. Anolimudi mo noka sempiwe na lende eka. You get the point. You don't wake up one morning and God is for you, and you're being against everything else He does. And we have never colonized one person and say, "No, you are struggling." Ne, it is simple. Iba 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 ingo ye no get. Jesus, hamba na no. We let them be free. If you can help a man, leave him alone. Don't hurt him. I don't care how much you pray. Until you stand and work towards your travail, you'll never see the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God is not for sissies. The kingdom of God is not for selfish people. The kingdom of God is not for people who are actually dreaming about how they can be better. Because you find a lot of people doing that today. And they have got kingdoms, but God is not in them. Lord, be merciful to your people. One of the scriptures that always bless me, Aris Balengria Hayim. Oh Lord, help us. We call them altars in Twatari Dieta. Beside the altars, one good one. See the altar. You go find a family that's struggling, help them. It's an altar. I remember. Everywhere I have gone, especially in the church circles, I would say the same thing over to Banakiri. Our children and their children have a tendency of missing God. No matter how circumspect you walk with God. Look at Eli. No matter how upright you are with the Lord. The Bible says there will always be persecutions. And I will say to this pastor, my surname is not easy to forget. It is K-O-T-U. Many years after I have exited this world, and one day a child comes around, a child comes around, a child comes around, a child comes I'm putting this as an altar for my generation. I'm putting this as an altar for my generation. And one day I felt a mole about where to go. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. That town, Nilimutalukili. 
And I said to you openly, in your absence, who will open up doors for your children? And why? When I tell you that we can take Bobo Nolo like Brian go have feeling, Mara would feel it open a door for Bonolo if you both drop dead. Or would Bonolo be have to import, export it to Kimbali on Bomalanga? Will he take her and without reservations and pave and continue and trust God or there's an extra more to feed? Now it's easy. Among the Ghana, they're not going to feel the gate. Bula Marwal Bonolo knock on the gate. I feel so only one. Look at how part two a little too. That's traveling. Kuhul la tiri so ulle la din tuta muso wa mahodi. Kuhul la din tuta muso. Let your kingdom come, Lord. Let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Where there's a kingdom established, his will must be done. There'll be provision. No matter if the, even if the devil comes riding a chariot and he runs through your family and throws everything apart, the Lord will put it back together again. In the book of Joshua, this is one for me, one very amazing scripture. You know, Mbele, if this is a, this you would expect a, a war strategy here. Moses stood not only as a leader, but also as a leader of an army in Israel. He dies and God calls Joshua. Was it a coincidence that he called Joshua? Check Joshua's history. Some people have a thirst beyond the normal. Coming to church is something, but having thirst for the things of the Spirit is something else. Making this church your business is something else. Joshua made this his business from while he was still a young man. And God calls Joshua. And the things the Lord said to Joshua, Kiraura, I promise you, it's possible that after the Lord said, more Joshua, okay, we're done. It's possible Joshua could have said, is that all? For my servant Moses is dead, therefore arise and lead this nation. Lead them. Now for the first time, Joshua is expecting to hear the secrets of leading an army. He's expecting to hear, you know that? Or, yo, this time around, I'm going to hear the things beyond. Things that only me in the whole of Israel shall know. We expect to hear Joshua, look behind you. Under that rock, Pahamisa. Take that thing. Keep it here. Don't let anybody see it. This is what gave Moses power. Or, Moyana, this book of the law. Book of the law shall not depart from your eyes, from your mouth. Meditate on it day and night, for then you'll make your way successful and have prosperity, something like that. Only, the Lord says, only. To a man who wants God, that is enough. in the things of the Lord. It will take a black man all his life because we were used to mysticism and witchcraft and everything else. That's why false prophets came and they gave you amulets. They gave you things and everything. They left you high and dry. 
determine in your heart today in this place. It's God or nothing else. If the Lord cannot do it, I would rather stay without it. I'm going to travail until the Lord does it. And have somebody speak to ancestors and people who are in hell already or heaven who cannot even hear. The Bible says in Ecclesiastes 9, 5, the dead have no share in this world. Their memory is gone and forgotten. Their hatred cannot hate you. No one can hate you from beyond the grave. No one can bless you from beyond the grave. Get stuck with God. Hallelujah. Because the word of the living God will sustain you. Travail on the things of the Spirit. Let's stand. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Come on, let us stand the Lord. You are worthy, Lord.
Lord, we thank and praise you. We thank you, Lord. Shall we have the confession quickly? Shall we have the confession quickly? You follow me? Precious Lord Jesus, I thank you for being my intercessor at God's right hand. Where every word you speak on my behalf reaches his throne. This day I realign my words to work together with yours. I am God's perfect image in this world with full authority to command all that is around me to conform to God's will. I am filled with the Holy Spirit of creation and sustenance. And I will use every word of my mouth to bring forth my breakthroughs. I give all glory to God through Jesus for all this. Amen. Come on, let us stand the Lord. We bless you, Lord. Come on, thank him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Bless your name, Jesus. Bless your name, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Bless your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. 